Today we will be installing a drag chain on the extended Xtool D1 Pro. So join us if you want to see how it's done. On That's How We Do It. I recently installed the Xtool extension onto my D1 Pro. If you want to see that install, there's a link in the description box below. During the extension install, I added a drag chain as well. Unfortunately, the drag chain setup I use failed to stay into place overnight. The double-sided sticky tape provided for this attachment failed and won't keep the attachment on. On the gantry portion, the drag chain also won't stay connected to the gantry attachment. These problems make this drag chain option completely useless. So I searched and found another option from Live Pixel Creation which has some accessories for Xtool and other lasers. I want to take the time and note that I paid for my products and was not asked or compensated to make this video of this product. I ordered some items from them, one which included the drag chain accessory. It came with the two necessary drag chains, one for the gantry and one for the rail, as well as an air hose, and the frame connections for the drag chain. The first thing I did was install the bracket for the drag chain onto the laser module bracket. You will first need to remove your laser from the gantry. You will also need to remove the adjustment screw that is used to tighten the laser into place during height adjustments. With the adjustment screw removed, we will use the U-shaped piece to attach the bracket that will hold the drag chain into place on the laser. We use the provided screws to screw the U-shaped piece into the drag chain bracket. We need to make sure that the drag chain bracket and the U-shaped piece are pushed back enough to allow the laser's height to be adjusted without hitting them. I temporarily insert my laser head to test to make sure that it moves freely. We can then reinsert our adjustment screw. I will now attach the drag chain piece onto the gantry. I use the provided bolts and nuts to attach this piece. On the bottom of the bracket, we see a piece that sticks down and will nicely fit into one of the holes on the gantry. This allows for the bracket hole to be lined up with the gantry hole. We will insert the bolt into the hole and put on the nut. We're going to leave it loose for now as we need to remove it again to attach the gantry drag chain. This is where the other system failed. Nothing was securely fastened onto the gantry or frame to properly secure the drag chain into place. This system, however, is nicely designed and accomplishes this using the existing holes within the gantry. We can now open the drag chain. I take a tool that has a small end that fits between the clips on the drag chain. I use it as a lever to open up the clips. A small flathead screwdriver will work just fine. I insert the wire harness and air hose into the drag chain and close the clips to secure the wire harness and air hose into place. Thank you. 
and then attach the rail drag chain into place. I start by laying out the drag chain along the rail. On the front of the frame, we will remove the screw from the top and insert it through the provided hole in the end of the drag chain. We will then re-secure the screw back into the frame. You are supposed to remove the screw from the front of the frame and use it to secure a cover over the end of the drag chain. However, the frame screw was not long enough to get a good grip into the frame after installing the cover. So I just left this piece off. I then attached the rail drag chain to the gantry. To do this, you place the chain under the gantry bracket and bend it back up towards the bracket to be secured with the screws provided. I then attached the provided guide onto the side rail that assist with keeping the rail drag chain into place. The guide itself has a clip that slips into the drag chain to prevent it from moving around and falling off the rail while in motion. It attaches with double side sticky tape onto the rail. To install the gantry drag chain, I remove the end of the drag chain and remove the screw we left loose earlier that attaches the chain bracket to the gantry. I then put the screw through the hole in the end of the chain, then the hole in the bracket through the gantry. I then secure it with the provided nut and an adjustable crescent wrench. I then place the wire harness and air hose into the gantry drag chain and close the clips to secure them into place. The clips will be facing down onto the gantry to allow the chain to bend appropriately while in use. I then extend my drag chain all the way to the opposite side so the drag chain was fully extended to make it easier to attach. I removed a few links from the chain to make it a better fit and give me some extra length in the wires to connect to the laser. I also tested the length of everything by inserting my wires into my laser with a dry fit and placing my laser back into place. I still made sure my laser would have full motion, even with removing a few links. I also removed the connecting end of the chain so I could easily screw it into place on the laser bracket without the wire harness or air hose getting in the way. The drag chain system comes with a spacer, which we will use here. It is placed on top of the laser bracket, and then the end of the drag chain is placed on top of it. I secured the drag chain's end onto the bracket and reattach the rest of the chain to it. I then made sure everything ran smoothly. I attached my laser and wires to my motherboard. I did find that it was a very tight fit 
to stretch my wires and connect it to the motherboard. So I ended up extending my wires. I have provided a video on how I extended my wires in the description box below. I have not had any issues with the drag chain system itself. The provided air hose is definitely long enough to easily get it connected to an air pump that is some distance away from your laser. However, I did have a small compatibility issue between the drag chain system and the X-Tool extended enclosure. The drag chain tends to get caught up on the screws for the enclosure fan. To fix this, I turned the screws for the fan around so the nut was now on the outside of the enclosure. The chain can sometimes also hit where the two enclosures velcro together. So I have to make sure I push my enclosure all the way over to leave some extra room on that side of the laser. Overall I am happy with the system and it does keep my wire harness and air hose out of the way from the gantry movement which can easily get in the way on the extended rails of the X-Tool. Thanks for joining us today. I've included links in the description below for the items that were used in today's video. If you like what you saw, please hit that like and subscribe button so we can get more content out to you. If you didn't like what you saw, smash that thumbs down button twice to really let us have it. Until next time, this is John with That's How We Do It, brought to you by Rustic American Woodwork.